first, can Auntie Eileen and um, Auntie whoever? <laughs> Auntie Iris, can you hear me? Raise your hand if you can hear me. <laughs> you have to hold it to no. you back. <laughs> 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 Auntie Eileen and Auntie Iris, raise your hand if you can hear me. Hello <laughs> uh, and welcome to the presentation of Lizzie and John. And we were especially pleased that so many of you could turn up. Um, a tribute to the popularity of the pair. Um, and especially thanks for those who travelled a long distance and even stayed overnight to um, enjoy the evening with us. A special thanks to Sally and Barry and some others who were instrumental in finishing off the wedding <laughs> service. Good choice of words. Yeah. What? Good choice of words. Uh, instrumental. Now, I first met Lizzie in the delivery room in the hospital. Um, she just elbowed her twin brother out of the way and was given to me to hold. Classic she was in those days. <laughs> However, um, things livened up at the christening when she threw some of the water back. Um, I think she wanted Zimbantel. <laughs> uh, at school, she received a certificate of good conduct and cheerfulness. Uh, Alicia <laughs> um, Typically, my daughter found guides boring and joined her brothers in the Scouts. And there she distinguished herself by being the first and the most frequent customer of the first aid tent. And that may be something to do with the fact she kept beating the boys at cross-country running, abseiling and the like. And later she joined the Ranger Guides, which included such activities as wine tasting, <laughs> and kayaking which was a bit of a surprise, because she was always felt the cold. But I guess there she learned that you can't have your kayak and heat it. Then she went on to Dartmouth University, so things were quiet for a while. And where she did a degree in travel and tourism. And she's still the, one of the few people I know who actually uses her degree subject in her work. Doesn't she, Carol? Yes, she does. <laughs> now, what can I say about Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> the first thing was, I must admire his taste. <laughs> Unfortunately, our first few meetings involved hospital visits. Uh, we learned that Johnny had undergone surgical procedures over many years. As Leslie says, he takes all this on the chin, and that's admirable. Mm. Um, Johnny had run a business selling holiday cruises. Um, did this fit in with travel and tourism? <laughs> His father, Barry, told me that Johnny had walked the length of Stony Stratford High Street to find out whether there were any vacancies, uh, and as a result, he landed his present job at Barclays Bank. Again, he showed Assistance and fortitude, all things that potential father in laws look for. <laughs> well, the only worrying things were the ref references to Clive and Pingu. <laughs> 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 those who don't know turn out to be penguins. <laughs> and Clive used to say hello over the phone. <laughs> 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 Apparently he's gone to visit his aunt, Arctic. <laughs> <laughs> so, after what felt like many years, Lizzie and Johnny went off on a Mediterranean cruise, some travelling tours and business. And would Johnny pop the question? <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler. 
could we finally <laughs> hope? <laughs> Finally, hand over the video of Pingu's wedding without seeing them to hint too much. <laughs> Johnny had the good sense on that uh, cruise to ask her to marry him, and she had the good sense to accept. Uh, Johnny now keeps apologising for not seeking my permission to marry Liz. Well, I'll say about that, hey, it's too late to say no. <laughs> too late to negotiate the dowry <laughs> and do realize that even the new marriage laws don't allow for penguins. <laughs> anyway, Liz and Johnny have already shown a very strong bond in overcoming difficulties and we are pleased and proud to be associated with this excellent young man and his family. A toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Thorpe. Johnny Lizzie. Thank you.